Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope. When the Church celebrates the memorial of Saints Cornelius and Cyprian. Today's Gospel is from St. Luke, and it is a great challenge to us in inviting us to accept more of us and all of us more fully, especially the women among us and the women in our church. Listen to this last part of the short gospel from St. Luke. Accompanying Jesus were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. Jesus included women in his band of disciples. One of the commentators for the Canadian Missal, Judy uh, Schudeman, says, Today's gospel is but three verses long, yet it makes clear why Jesus rocked the boat that the late leaders of the faith had found all too comfortable. Rabbinic documents cautioned against even speaking to women, and here is our Lord keeping company with them. My friends, I want to take advantage of today for us to use this gospel to focus directly on women. Women in our lives, women in our church, women who have such incredible gifts to make available to the church. And that's exactly what our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has been trying to do throughout his papacy. He is so inclusive. He keeps bringing people who are on the margins or on the ends outside, keeps bringing them in, bringing them in, inviting us to be more tolerant, inviting us to be more open-minded, inviting us to be as inclusive as his thinking is. And what he has done it most recently, which is really sort of earth-shaking, just like Jesus was, was invite women to sit on the council of people that identify and suggest bishops, men to be made bishops in our church. He has added women to that consistory, it's called, to that group of people that identify and support men to be made bishops. I'm so impressed with his inclusion of women in the leadership of our church. And I hope it grows and grows and grows to be all the more inclusive of women at every level of our faith. God bless you.